forgot to plug it in yesterday. Luckily there's plenty of time, so nice to get the good, good old Canon 70D out. I don't use this camera enough. Nice fresh morning, nice and bright, excellent. Yes. Careful, because there's big hill here. It's like walking a dog, a robotic dog. I don't think these things are designed for uh, countryness. We're not going to go in the field, Jasper, because scooters don't work in fields. Today the topic is battery swap stations. Come on, I want to go on the bridge. The thing with battery swap stations is they don't make any sense. They actually don't make any sense for exactly the same reason as hydrogen fuel cells don't make any sense. I mean like literally exactly the same thing because if you have a battery swap station Daddy. for a B for an EV. <laughs> hey Jazzy, that really is no different. From a fuel cell you have a very similar range very similar refuel time and a very similar cost of the actual stations so using battery swap stations as a proxy for the likelihood of fuel cells succeeding we can see that fuel cells really have no chance whatsoever Jasper don't go up there please monkey because look it's so dirty Jasper is quite tired today so I think today's going to basically be a bit of a collage of, of him screaming. Come on Jasper. Come on Jasper, you're getting your feet filthy. He's gonna, gonna, he's gonna sit in it in a minute. Oh, God. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you're too tired for playgrounds Jasper. Next yeah week. next week, next week next we go to the playground. We'll this whole problem started with him sleeping for two hours on the way here yesterday. So what are we talking about today? Oh yes, yes, so I think battery swap stations are a good proxy for the hydrogen fuel cell industry I wouldn't even call it an industry really at this point but they'll both fail for exactly the same reason the filling stations cost too much and it's actually a really good proxy if you think about it because a large battery EV costs basically exactly the same as a hydrogen car a hydrogen fuel cell car and they both fill up in about a minute or two, although hydrogen actually takes much longer than that. And the filling stations all both cost a couple of million each. There are some differences. The hydrogen proponents would tell you that they could make it much cheaper over time. But the reality is battery swap stations would come down in price as well, given a bit of time. I've been hoping that the slightly cleaner water here will wash off the bottom of my board but I suspect it won't. Can't believe how much of a pickle Jasper's been. I need to try and find a way of waterproofing this skateboard. After all, I do live in the countryside. Oh, speaking of things that need washing and cleaning, tomorrow I'm going to be going to a 
test limit of some description, hopefully, at the British Motor Museum, which is really fun. Really, really like the sound of that. There's one problem. They're going to line up like 80 odd Teslas and um, I do not want to have the dirtiest Tesla at the meet. It's going to have to be one of those washes which leave swirly marks and everyone complains about because they don't have time for anything else. You can move around. It's not. This is just a basic game. It's not sort of. It's not even really a basic game. There's a little button on the side here. No, not walking. You walking. Don't walk. You walk. There we go. If, you, if I press this thing on the side, you moving forwards. Yeah. Uh, I suppose so. A little bit. Anyway, there should be a turtle around there somewhere. It's simply operated by Bluetooth. Yeah, you can get you can get Bluetooth controllers. Yeah. Um, but I mean, to a, so you can play a game. Yeah, you, as in, what do you mean? Are you using like, yeah. yeah, 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 they do, they have that. Warcraft. Oh my word. Huh, who, I've not got a who? I've just had the most enormous bath possible when it comes to EC sales listings. Oh my word. Just, I, you can't believe how much hassle they make something that should be really simple. About as much hassle as getting a permit for a hydrogen filling station, if you ask me. It's time to get Draspa. Right. I don't have it. I want some clothes. Okay, you don't mind if you're closing it. Just try not to moan. There we go. Well done. Well done. We're going home. I'm knackered. I hope you've all had a good day. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to say. I do hope you've all had a good day, actually. I really do. But also, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog, when hopefully I will be surrounded by Teslas. Oh, you know what I've forgotten to do? I didn't clean my car. Bye. Bye. One day I'm gonna bump into one of these big daily vlogging people and I'm gonna ask them, how do they do it? And I try not to have to moan and complain too much about it because I do enjoy it. So, you know, moaning and complaining is probably not the best idea. But what I don't understand is I just, I have so little time.